Hello. I know it's late. I have been saving this video of this time-lapse footage in Hawaii since before my last live stream. So it has taken all of this time around three hours to compress all of this footage from the observatories in Hawaii. And um, so some of you will have seen this live with me right now, and then some of you will not. But I tell you what, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting. It really is. So um, thank you for joining me. And again, I know it's late. It's really late. But it's from today. Okay, it is. I don't want to show uh, today's footage tomorrow. I don't want to do that, you all. I really don't. Um, so yeah, let's let's look at this, you all. Let me see if I can get myself over here uh, to this um, live webcam, not live webcam, this live stream right here, so that we can see this. Um, let me see if I can get that here. I'm gonna show you. This footage came from this right here, from this um, live webcam right here from the observatories in Hawaii. Well, it's, it's kind of spinning right now, but I'm going to look at it. We're going to look at it. We're going to speed it up um, is what we're going to do. So you can see it had the uh, lasers. They were crossing the lasers all night last night, it seemed like. So let's watch this show. We're going to come back here and we're going to watch this live stream. I'm going to get myself off of here so we can watch it. I'm going to shoot myself out of the way. Boom, like that, you all. Let's let's. Let's um let's start this over. I've got it sped up. It says it's going to be an hour. I don't want it to be an hour. Let me let me see if I can make it go any faster. I'm going to make it go really fast. Hopefully we'll see some uh, UFOs. Hello there, Evelyn Wade. Hello everyone. So um the timestamp that we're going to be starting with is um it's going to be around 3:05 is when we're going to start this. So I'm going to push it back. Hopefully we'll get through it really fast. Okay, let's watch this. You are we can do it. We are going to do it, you all. Uh, thank you, Catherine. Uh, welcome. So let's look at this. I think it's pretty neat um, to set and watch it. Because it's not every day that you're going to get a time lapse of this um, observatory. Because it literally does. It takes a lot of time to um, put together a video. Can you all hear me um, on here? I'm not sure if you can or not. I see those cloud shadows on the ground happening is what I see. Yeah. I think we can probably get through this in less than, I hope we can get through this in less than an hour. If not, I'm going to sit here for a whole hour doing this. Um, if you're just tuning in, this is, um, this is, let me, let me pop myself on here. This is the um, time lapse from today, early, um, well, actually on the 19th into the wee hours of today. Uh, alrighty, that is uh, wonderful. That's great, you all. Probably won't have very many people um, on here right now, but that's okay. Hello there, Apple Brooks, honey. You stayed up. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you. Yeah. It it is really. It is so neat how these clouds literally show up. And then boom, they're gone. It really is. Yeah, thank you all. Is it too loud? I hope it's not too loud. Yeah, I hope it isn't. I know. Oh, growing in one spot. That's a good observation. It really is. Let's see those cars. That's a black car running around up there on that road yeah hello everyone and um, thank you for coming on here it's late and it, it might be morning all depending on where you're at in the world oh that's wonderful apple brooks 
That is great. So now it's 434. We started at around uh, 3, 315, I think. And now um, we've already went one hour into this footage is uh, what we've done. It's going to take a while to get through it. See, there's nothing happening right now. <laughs> there's nothing. I think I can pull myself over here right now because there's no clouds showing up on here right now. Um, it's pretty low key, except for maybe the clouds that are over top the observatory. I think there's probably a few ships in there, a long ship. You know, that's a, that's a black car that keeps running up and down that road is what it is. Well, I guess they have black vehicles that do that is what I guess. Yeah, that definitely looks like a ship over there. If you can see over there on the uh, at the corner of the observatories, like a long like ship. Mm hmm. So now it's like um, it's five o'clock. I think the clouds are going to start manifesting, and they are. You know, they're coming up from one location. Is where they're coming up from, and it looks like right in front of that observatory. You, know, I can make myself tiny. Can make myself a little bit um, just teeny tiny up here so you can still see me and I can still see you even though I can't see you that well that's okay yeah hello it's a rise and shine for somebody right now it really is if you look in there you can see the shape of a ship in here look at this over here I, I know you can't see my cursor but there is a shape in a ship a shape of a ship right with these things going off at around the nine o'clock position as they come up you can see the ship's shapes is um what you can see and i think they're interdimensional uh i see something look like windows too you all yeah it is you all i hope i'm not in the way i'm trying to stay out of the way up here is what i'm trying to do but when those clouds start rolling in and they get over here on my space over here I'm going to have to scoot a little bit over to make more room for them uh, is what I'll have to do. Um, yeah. Yes, there's been plenty of ships there. Look how um, it's um, spreading out now because now we're at 6 o'clock at night. 6 o'clock at night, the clouds decide to come in. Isn't that interesting? How they gather because... You think they're going over there to the other side of the sky where the sun is getting ready to set because it's the opposite side because this is facing east and behind them is west. So I think they're making their way to the other side of the sky is um, what I think is happening. So we're at six o'clock. I want to see. I want to see. I haven't even looked at this sped up. I haven't, you all, at all. Get out of the way, Gina, honey. You got the clouds coming in. You don't want to get in the way of the clouds. I do not want to get in the way of the clouds, you all. I really don't. And, um, yeah, I want to see the UFO. Oh, wow. Looked over there, down there, by the uh, observatory on the corner. That shape of the clouds. That is kind of wild looking. They're so smooth-like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see the sun is setting because it's making the red appear on there. Um, oh, well, mm, Apple Brooks, honey, you, you beat the person. You beat me to it. You are right on it. Yes, you are, Apple Brooks. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did those observatories just now turn? I think they did. Okay, yeah, these are um, slow moving. You got it, Apple Brooks. I like seeing them spinning around. Kind of, you ever go to the merry-go-round I mean, on those fairs when they have those little apple things that you can get into and you spin the thing and you spin around and around and around? Yeah, I like this. Look at this beautiful color on the observatories 
Ooh, ooh, there goes their lasers straight up in the sky. Oh, they're shooting stars. Yes, we got them. Actually, they're, they're UFOs. Look at them going down to the ground. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. I love it. Boom. Look at them. Yes. There they come flying across the sky. Boom. Look at that great big one. Oh, wow. You are. This is so active. Look at them. All over the place, you all. All over the place. Wow. That is, I hope you all can see them. That's why I like to do the time lapse so we can see them flying around. And they're going straight down. And I think they disappear uh, the closer they get to the ground. That, yeah. Hello there, Patty, honey. Yeah, this is really neat. I like it with those lasers. Isn't that cool? That one is going straight, straight down. I think they have shafts that probably open up underground and they go into just like in, well, just like in uh, a Table Mountain at Cape Town, South Africa. The UFOs go into the ground, and they, I've seen them go into the ground where there is like an apartment complex. Um, yeah. Well, I think that they are probably UFOs. Uh-oh, something's getting ready to rise. Is that the moon getting ready to rise in the east? They're spinning around. That cloud looks really suspicious right there uh, on the left-hand side of the screen. Wow, you got your laser pointed sideways. Is that the moon? You know, it really does look like the sun rising. Um, and look at the time stamp on it. 8 o'clock. They say that they use the laser to get a better picture. That is what they say. Uh, something in space to um, kind of block out any light. But who really knows? Okay, who really knows? There's something, you see that something that's right, it's right between these two big observatories. I'm going to put my picture here. Right, see right next to me on the, right there, that spot? That looks a really strange. Okay, it does. It's like right next to me now. See it? It's like a circle, a blurred circle. thinking what is that doing and what's that above the moon what is that right here above the moon isn't that interesting because that's awfully bright it's very very bright um, the theory the story goes they're taking pictures that's that's what they say. Yeah, what is above that moon? Hello. If you're just tuning in, um, thank you for coming on here. Look right below me. There's like something above the moon. And then it's like the same shape right below me right here. So I got out of the way really fast. Yeah, those lasers, look at them. They could be pinpointing something in the sky. Um, there's no telling, there really isn't. But I'd like to know what's 
There also looks like there's something to the to the side also of this moon. And it's like on the uh, three o'clock position and also right above it. Yes, we do. We have a bizarre world. That's okay. We got to make the most of it. You know, for the longest time, they had um, this whole area to where we couldn't even make nothing out in the sky at all. It was like all pixelated and stuff. And I thought, you know, you've got better quality than that. That's what I thought. had to go get a drink of water from the other computer I uploaded a short video of uh, the Soho Lasco not no, no the ISWA with the um, Soho Lasco C3 the blue one how it's like three layers um, look how that spins around it's so neat there is uh oh so we're getting close to midnight which is an hour and a half away more or less Yeah, I don't think this is going to take too long at all. I think I um, I left it going until it would go up to, I think, maybe 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, not quite 24 hours, but close enough because I really wanted to get the, um, the night sky. Look, that's straight between those two stars right there. Yeah, they, they, they got their eyes. They, they're looking at something. Whoa, did you see that? That was a big flip. I hope I had the video split. I tried to get the exact um the exact um things on here. I will say this, what I did notice when I was um doing this, they had a lot of instances where they had 2 or 3 seconds that were not showing up on their clock there there was nothing there it's like that that time was cut out I thought what happened during that period because there was a lot of instances where that happened and th that's all it takes for them to hide something if you wanted to hide something you didn't want nobody to see oopsie sorry you all this is a touch screen I shouldn't have touched it um, yeah so I guess you would because all it takes is a few seconds to just slip into the ground or do whatever. See how fast they do their lasers. I sped this up two times the speed when I was recording it off this website. And then um, I sped it up eight times the speed to compress it. And now I think I've got it sped up 1.5% of that so it's almost uh, one in the morning we're after midnight look how bright that sky is because that sun that moon is way up there hello there old rider um thank you for coming on here yeah Now see, this is this is top quality um, cameras they got over here for us to see all of this. Yeah, look at that. They're pointing straight up. They almost it's perfectly okay. The, whatever's up there, these objects are side by side in the sky. Whatever it is, because that looks like boom, perfectly even. Hello there, Al. Yes. Thank you for coming on. And I saw your tweet about our little king of Hukamundo. Thank you. Yeah, it was totally parallel. I was wanting to say that word, Blake, but then I didn't say it. Uh, 
Hello. Thank you all for um, coming on here. It is late, but I I wanted to get this out tonight. It's a time lapse. So we're almost at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, time lapse. With these lasers, whatever they're focusing on, it, it is so neat with them spinning around. Hello, they're in Greece. You got a lot of history there. Um, love you too. Oh, you were sending you a message on your yes, Al. I saw that. I rarely get over to the the Twitter, but I did go over there today and I saw that. Thank. You. That's awful nice of you. It really is. Um, King of Ahukamendo was a beautiful soul, but he's with us in spirit which is wonderful. Hello there in Australia. Uh, thank you all for coming on here, even though it's late. Uh oh, okay, so we're getting ready to see. Okay, there's, there's UFOs that are going down into the ground. I'll say this is when we're going to get to see them. I really don't think they're shooting stars. I really don't. I think there's something much more. And shooting stars is like a good, a good cop-out. Okay? A good substitute. It really is. That's what I think. Oh, wow. They're, they got another laser from one of the observatories on behind these ones right there. Also... Yeah, they got the lasers going. Oh, Louis. Louis, that was the salt mines. And you know what? They have literally, let me tell you what they did. They literally removed that video from the Romania. Um, you can't get to the salt mines now in that area now. They removed it completely because I wanted to go back to it again to see if I could see anything, even though they... Uh, hit it now you can't see it at all because it's gone. I think it uh, draw too much attention to it But that's okay. It is oh Well, see we can I can help you out. I I don't mind helping out. I don't mind moderating myself you all I don't Yes, we can do this. Absolutely. We can mm -hmm. Yes, we can boom um, it wouldn't it be nice if you could just uh, had that on your ceiling and you fall asleep oh there goes a, there goes a UFO you could sit and look at the stars in the sky oh wow so we got two flying side by side I hope you all can see them if you got a great big computer screen you can see them really well Ah, oh wow, you got a brand new floor down in your shop, oh Ryder. That is a lot of work, a ton of work. Yes, Mount Olympus on Google Earth. Thank you for that uh, info. That'd be neat to look at. We're going to have to probably do that in another video. Uh, thank you, R. Heath. Yes, I've heard about Tartaria, but not in Australia. I haven't. But that sounds interesting. It really does. Just look at those colors. You got the nice blue sky, the orange, and the white. And, um,. It's getting close to seeing more. Uh, oh, I hope that I hope Venus or whatever it is doesn't come up and hide the UFOs. Okay, because we can barely see them, but they're flying down into the ground. Uh, is what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful, Debbie Lacey. I'm glad you like it. 
it it took me all day long <laughs> it did all day long uh to try to uh, put this on the video it does take a lot of work i'm glad i got two computers that i can do that in oh there was a flash did you see it um but this is going way too fast and i don't want to stop this footage because it's nice to have it all running yeah Ah, oh, that's wonderful, Al, because I like to. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Lasers. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a big one coming down. Boom, it's going straight down. I'd like to see one coming up from the ground with a trail behind it, too, like a green exhaust yeah that'd be great oh now it's 450 i don't know if we're going to get to see very many ufos um but it really would be nice to see them but if we don't that's okay we can see what we can see like this with the lasers the lasers are exciting whoa did you see that something come straight down like that you all look at these two um, so it was like around five o'clock, five o'clock, something came straight down. Um, so I, I need to write that down because I might want to go back and look at that at five o'clock straight down. Five o'clock. It, it was, it was something, um, massive. They are lasers. They say they're taking pictures. They get better pictures if they, um, shoot lasers up there in the sky that's what they say um i don't know about it boom they're getting ready for the sun to rise see that oh why you why do they they got us okay so um wait that's the west why are they facing west What's in the western sky right now? Cause um, I don't I don't know why they would be over here looking at the west when the sun's going to be rising in the east. Okay, that one's turning around. I think it wants to see something. Yeah, something flew by. Yeah, there's there's lots of um, flybys. Uh, now we we got to look at this sun, and it's so bright. I don't like looking at it on the um, things, although this is really pretty. It's a pretty scenery right here. It looks really pretty. Um, nice silhouette. I look like a, a silent picture, a serene, just waiting for the sun to rise. Yeah. Yeah, something is uh, definitely happening. We got the cars running around. But they can't really see much of anything during the daytime. Look at that sky turning pinkish. Oh my goodness, I'm getting sleepy. But that's okay. We can do it. Oh, you got it buffering on your end? Yeah, you all hit that like button. And uh, subscribe, you all. This we just got this time lapse video going on, and um, I think I only got it going till ten o'clock, so it won't take that long. It really won't. Yeah, it is beautiful color, absolutely, and it's neat. I've been there one time and um, boom, there it comes, rising up. No, we, we got, no, this is um, the sunrise now. It's 6.50 in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, this is Hawaii.
Mm. With the sun rising. See, look like it's got um, a ship up there to the side, a long, elongated ship at the 11 o'clock position, and then um, like round objects, like orbs, like maybe, I don't know, ships. Oh, the sound was gone because um, I pushed the mute button, but then I brought it back. Yeah. The, r the round cloud, I don't know. Not quite sure. But we got this sun rising. I'm sure there's um, orbs all around the sun. And or ships. If there's, it's like spear being alliance. They, there is a such thing as that. Yeah, two round clouds. So, um, see, today it looks different than it did the other days because the other days, maybe they didn't have their camera cleaned off and it was all blotchy and stuff like that. And it was not very pleasant to look at at all. But this is all right, right here. But I have noticed that, uh, you see how it has like, it looked like a sunflower is what it looks like sunflower petals um i have a, a nikon p900 that i use when i um film the moon Hello, Janine. Thank you. Hello, everybody. So this really has a lot of, uh, it had a lot of movement in it, a lot of time that was covered with this, um, from three in the afternoon on the 19th to today on the 20th. And it's still the 20th. Uh, it's 534 in Hawaii right now. And that's wonderful. I do want to see if we can get to that timestamp of 5, five o'clock in the morning. Because something literally came down. And we don't have too much longer to wait. It's gonna, this sun's, look how that sun looked like it's double. Doesn't it look like it was a double sun at, at one point just uh, a few seconds ago? I wouldn't be surprised if it, there was something double. Um, we're looking at a time lapse of the observatories in Hawaii. It was night and, um, Boom, now it's morning, is what it was. Yeah, I think it's interesting how this orb-like thing, I think it's like a ship. Look at this over here. They turn solid, semi-solid. There's there's one over here too, right it, right over there, over, over, over top the, the bottom, the left-hand observatory. There's a round orb-like ship probably organic those ships are supposed to be organic also that's what some people say they're organic and you um you can drive them with by touching them you and the ship are one 
Yes, Al, honey, we are watching a recording, a time lapse from, oh, what are these two things showed up in this, right there, those two dots in the sky? Yeah, it's going to be ending shortly. And I want to see if we can go to that um, time lapse to the five. And then, I don't know the exact time. Um, I don't know when I ended it. Guess we'll find out what time it's going to end. Look at those clouds. And what was interesting, uh, someone noticed uh, at three in the afternoon the clouds were manifesting in that very location also. Oh wow, look at that. Shalom. Uh, Yah's child, Yisra El. That is so wild. Almost looks well. They appear and then they just like disappear. Just like that. Yeah, the dots are gone. The clouds have come. And I couldn't tell you how long this video is. Um. Oh, okay. So, um. It don't got too much longer. I don't think. Because it's near the end. It's almost near the end with this sped up. That looks so wild. looks man-made, doesn't it? Doesn't that look fake when you see the clouds like that? It looked like they were made. But I'm not being disrespectful to the clouds. I'm not. Um, but it looks really wild. It really does. It's so wild looking. Oh, see, now we're back to that time stamp. So, you are. So, let me see. Okay, look how these clouds did. This is the very beginning of the video, how these clouds um, were rolling in. If you missed the very beginning, this is, um, that's them rolling in over here. Which is pretty cool. It really is cool. So um, I wanted to um, see if we could make it to the 5 o'clock. It was around 5 or so. Something came across the screen. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I really don't. I, I do want to try to see if I can find it. I want to try to slow this down just for a, a brief moment. Look, Gina, honey, you just better hold it still. I'm trying to get myself out of here. Let me get myself out of the way because I wanted to see if I could find it around the five o'clock position. I may not. Five o'clock. No, I, I'm not in a... Um, I can't go by the individual frames here. I can't. But if you all can see that these observatories right here, they were just all over the place. Isn't that wild? 
Look at that. Just like that. It goes starts right here at 3 in the afternoon. And as time goes by, the clouds roll in, sun sets, boom goes the lasers. See what's rising with the moon, also something's rising with it. It's pretty cool looking at those um, lasers on the observatory. And the clouds rolling in. So yeah, um, where where am I at on here? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself back on here, and I am gonna go. Um, I did want to share that. I did. I didn't want the night to go without sharing it because I've been working on it all day long. So I want to thank you all for coming on here. And it's pretty neat to look at a time lapse uh, of this area. It's really pretty colors and peaceful, and it's the sky. And they got nice lasers and they got UFOs that fly across the sky. Um, so with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you moderators. Thank you all for taking the time to come on here and um, being interested in what I'm sharing. And I know you could have looked somewhere else. But so I thank you for coming here and, and watching with me and everyone else. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.